But the, the, the important thing that Steve and I are talking about today is that Jesus is enough. Jesus can come into your life. And if you're watching this now, if you're unsaved, give your life to Jesus today. It's not a big deal. You don't have to go and be formal. You just say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I'm a sinner. I need you. I'm sorry. I accept what you did for me. And if you say that to God in sincerity, that's the transaction. That's, that's it. If you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be saved. It's as simple as that. Yeah. But I got a feeling right now, Steve, that I'm watching and you're talking to folks, pastors, Christian folks, that are carrying dead corpses with them from their past. And the devil is using that to keep beating you up. And I'm here to tell you something. He that is in Christ is a new creature. All things have passed. You've heard the saying, have you heard about Billy? He's passed away. Um, sister so-and-so passed away. All things, the Bible says, have passed away. They've died. This is um, from Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if any man being Christ, he's a new creature. All things have di died, passed away. And behold, all things have become new. And I want you today to tell the devil to get out of your mind and get out of the guilt process in your spirit and say, I am a new creation. I don't care how you feel. I don't care what the circumstance you're in right now is. You are not born for the pig pen. You are born for something better than the pig pen. Get up Amen. from the pigs and go home to your dad. And instead of judgment and criticism and looking at you like you're garbage, you're going to find him waiting for you with open arms that will love you and love you and love you. Hallelujah. Okay. Steve, now, go ahead. I think a lot of times folks are at this point and they know they need to, to, to turn a leaf. They know they need to, to be saved, yeah. but they start thinking through, okay, what, how's this going to work out? What's the next yeah. step going to be? How, how's this going to play? How's this going to play? How's that going to yeah. play? Out? Here's so what I think about just I will say it, that he orders the steps of a good man. The righteous, yeah. he orders your step. You, you, you can't think through how it's going to work out because he's going to do exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask or think. He has a better plan for you than you can even dream, but all you got to do is start taking the first step. Those things that you think are problems, Absolutely. let me tell you, yes. the God of the process. And he, That's why it's called faith. will get you right through them problems. Yes, sir. For the, he's that God. When, when my mom got saved, she had a sister-in-law called Chrissy, my auntie Chrissy, and, and my mom was religious, not, knew nothing about the, the, the salvation of the Lord, but knew the trappings of, of the Church of Scotland. But she had an, a sister-in-law that she knew needed religion, and uh, she took her to church one night, and this guy preached what profit a man that we gain the whole world and lose his own soul. And uh, she, he said, you've got to confess your sins. So she went down to the front in that little wee room that night, and as she's standing there, she's thinking, well, what I'll do is I'll, I'll confess all my big sins. And then when I remember my smaller sins, I'll come back to the man, the, the preacher, and tell him. I, and so she began, she began to confess. And he says, no, 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 no. You don't have to confess to me. You just, you just tell Jesus that you need him. And that's how she was saved. So there's always reasons. Let me tell you, if you think about this thing too long... And I'm talking to Christians, just, I'm talking to Christians as, more than, than folks that need to be saved. If you yeah. overthink where you've come from and overthink your past, the devil will jump up and say, oh yeah, and what about this and what about that? All things have passed away. Say it out loud where you are. All things have passed away. They've died. They're dead. Bury it in the name of Jesus. I don't know why I'm beating this drum today. But I know for someone, this is, you've been yes. saying, God, you've got to talk to me. You've got to show me something. And God arranges Steve and I to be on this program to talk to you, you, and tell you that he doesn't hold, God holds nothing against you. David said, against thee and thee only have I sinned. And David had sinned, big time sinned. He had a guy killed because he, he, he fancied his wife. And he married the woman, yes. and she had a baby. And, 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 and well, before he killed the guy, he, he, he tried to get the guy back from war to sleep with his wife so the baby wouldn't be David's, and it was David's baby. I mean, you talk about a mess. Yes, that David, King David, the one that we all talk about in whispered tones, that David. And after all he'd gone through, he said, God, against thee and thee only have I sinned. 
because God's mercy and grace is big enough for you.